Um, uh, Gail, this morning uh, on uh, on the CBS This Morning, yeah. you aired part of the sit down with Kelly's live-in girlfriends. Yes, girlfriends. And girlfriends, yes. multiple. He's yes. got two of them. Yes. Uh, Joel, jo jo Joyce Ellen. Joyce Ellen. Joyce Ellen. Joyce Ellen. Who is 23. And Azriel. Azriel, very good. Who's 21. Yes. yes. 23, and he is 52. Okay. That was kind of my reaction too. Okay. <laughs> and and there's there's the, there's the age difference. Is that that he's he's in a he's, he's they're both his girlfriend at the same time. Yes. Um, and I understand that R. Kelly stayed in the room for well, that the, interview. Well, this is the thing. You know, I had been working with his... He has a crisis management person. His name is Daryl jo Darryl Johnson. And Daryl said to me, uh, Robert will not be in the room. Okay, great. And Daryl was standing behind me. The girls are in front of me. And, you know, when you go into a swanky suite, they have a little bit of a hallway before you get into the main entrance. I saw Robert leave. I did not see him come back in, so I did not know that he had come back in. Neither did Daryl Johnson, who had assured me he would not be in, so I'm not blaming Daryl. But, so, R. Kelly comes back in, and he can hear the conversation. He's, he's out of my eyesight, and he's out of the girl's eyesight, too. They did not see him. But when there was a question he didn't like, and I can't remember what it was, you'd hear this, <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm a little irritated, because I'm thinking, who on the crew is coughing like that? You know, when you're taping something, guys, you'd much rather choke than interrupt a taping like that. Sure. And that's the truth. So I'm thinking, who is that? Then it becomes clear to me that it's R. Kelly. I'm told that R. Kelly is talking to members of my own team, Laz, the guy who took the pictures. Uh, they're doing okay, they're doing okay. Should I go in and stop it? Should I go in and stop it? He's having a dialogue with people on my team. And Laz says, no, you probably should just leave it alone. So we continued the conversation, but the girls were so angry, Stephen. They are so angry the way they spoke. As a matter of fact, Azriel's dad called me, because I'd been talking to him during this process, to apologize, he said, for the behavior of my daughter. He called me today. That is not the daughter I raised. I don't know who that girl is. Her I'm so sorry. parents are already very worried about him. Yes, they're ter no, they're terrified. Both sets of parents are terrified because they believe that their daughters have been brainwashed. And, you know, these guys... They're 21 and 23, as I say. They don't even know. We don't know how the R. Kelly story is going to end. We really don't. But what I do know is that those girls are going to need their family. They're going to need their family sooner, I think, rather than later. So it was heartbreaking. You, in the, in the special uh, tomorrow night, you have an hour-long special yeah. at 8 p.m. on CBS. They are working on it right now, Steve. Okay. Right now. You sent, you've got a, we've got a, a, an exclusive little first look at part of it here. This is you talking to R. Kelly, I think, mm -hmm. about his history of being with inappropriate okay, yeah, women. Yeah, I wasn't sure what clip they pulled for you. Okay. Jim? Jim, given that you know that about you, why do you continue, it seems, to continue to see young women? Why do you continue to do that? Why do I continue to see women? I'm not saying women. You know what I, I'm I know older about. women as well. All right. I, I know 43-year-olds, their bodies tight, they, they cool. I go out with them, I kick it with them. All right. I know, I love women. You know, this is the thing. When I asked R. Kelly about seeing younger women, don't you think, considering your behavior, that you might say to yourself, maybe this isn't good? Because this is not just a he said, she said. This is a he said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said. And he keeps saying that I didn't do anything wrong. I, all these women are lying. I go, everybody is lying except for you? You know, that just, that just defies logic. You know, when I went into the interview, Stephen, I knew he wasn't going to say, you know, Gail, you're right. You're right, I've done terrible things. But I did think that on some level, he would have a moment of reflection, he would have contrition. So it became very, uh, you know, very troubling to me to see him really just fall apart. I thought we were witnessing the self-destruction of a man having a breakdown, and that's never a good thing to see, never. What do you, how do you feel about uh, how we as an audience or fans can approach the, the artist's yeah. work after How this. How do you like separate Michael it? Jackson's music is being pulled off of uh, radio station, you know, playlists all around the world. Mm -hmm. um, it, can you still enjoy the, the work of artists like R. Kelly or, or Michael Jackson after this? You know, this? I've been thinking about it that because, you know, listen, that song, I Believe I Can Fly, was one of my favorite songs. Certainly loved all of Michael's work. But for me, it's hard to separate it now. And I think that, you know, you have to decide for yourself what you want to do, but these are different times. And we are hearing it now with different ears. We are paying attention to it in a way that we haven't paid attention to it before. 
And the thing about Michael Jackson and R. Kelly, none of these are new allegations. We've all heard these allegations for years, and I think because we, as a society, like the music, we said, well, you know, they were acquitted, so okay, you know, we're still enjoying the music. But now when you see the people come out and they're talking the way that they're talking, you can't unhear that. You can decide whether you want to believe it or not, but you can't unhear it. And I think we're listening to it now very differently. Well, um, Gail, thank you so much for being here. Thank you Always for having me, have really. Thank you. The Gail King interview with R. Kelly, a primetime special, airs this Friday at 8 p.m. on CBS. Gail King, everybody. We'll be right back with Pamela Adler.